All right, we are live. Got a few people in already. Cool. Very glad to see you guys. Thank you. Not stellar lately, so I'm on a different network, so let's hope this works. Mute my computer. There we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian. Let's try this now. Okay, we're back. Type on here. I had to turn my Wi-Fi off. It's uh, going over, going over the air. Try it that way instead. Can everybody got me all right? Let me refresh here and see. Oh man, this is so annoying. All right, I think we're on. There we go. All right, we're working now. There we go. Okay, cool. I have the mother of all stupid uh, fiber optic connections, and it's uh, I had to turn it off and just go on the stupid LTE for my burning up my data. I have a ton of data. It's fine. Anyway, very happy to see everybody out here. Sorry for the momentary technical glitches. I will say I'm having a hard time seeing the chat because my computer is not on the my computer is on the Wi-Fi, of course. Switch networks. I have two different Wi-Fi networks. Something's wrong with my Wi-Fi. That's what the issue is. Probably that I have teenagers in my house. That's probably what's wrong with my Wi-Fi, right? Well, let's get to it. Let's do some welcoming stuff, first of all. Uh, let's talk about our sponsor, Weha. As always, we will be doing a giveaway again with a little T6, T8, T10 little set. And then we will... Uh, we will send uh, that out. I'm gonna do a little trivia question here shortly, and we'll uh, we'll send that out to you. All right. Uh, the the trivia question answer, by the way, is gonna be somewhere in the video, so you don't need to like dig around and find stuff. I make it easy. It's basically just a fancy random draw. Get you guys to comment and stuff. So, yeah. Sorry about the technical glitches up front. I don't know what's up with my Wi-Fi. I think I need a new router, which is very frustrating because it's only a year old and it was very expensive. Okay. Let's get going. Uh, I already talked about Weha. Uh, just some things coming up. As you see, if you look at my um, my uh, subscription counter is as ridiculously often as I do, uh, which I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Rapidly approaching 3,000 subs. I do have some big giveaways planned for that. Um, multiple things. I'm not just going to give away one thing this time. Going to do a bunch of different stuff. So uh, probably you know at least two or three. So looking forward to that. Um, got some really cool stuff coming up. It's going to be pretty awesome, I do have to say. Um, now let's do the trivia question. It's going to be mentioned somewhere in here, and I also did a review of it. Um, it's going to be something very easy. Uh, who designed the Fox Knives Toro? And what award, or Toro did I say? I have Toro on my mind. I'm going on a trip and I rent cars that way. Fox Knives Suru. It, who designed it, and what award did it win? That's the trivia question. Who designed this knife, and what award did it win? And I'll probably mention that when we talk about this knife a little bit later on. So don't put it in the comments. I didn't say the rules yet. I'm just going to delete that. Wait till it's over with, and then put it in the end. Because if you put it in the comments, A, you give away the answer to everybody, and B, I can't do my random, uh, my random selector thing. I'll do the random selection thing. Not your fault. Not your fault, Jack. I forgot to say that up front. Um, yeah, just uh, yeah. Put it in the comments at the end, and after after it goes, we're done live. It'll render and go up. Put it down there. Then I can do the uh, random comment selector thing. I can't do that from the comments. It's the it's, you can't do it from the live comments. It's really annoying. I don't know why you can't do that. But anywho, we have that. So. Whoa, we got, uh, we got enough people on now. Let's get going with the, the first big announcement. I promised you I had two announcements today. First big announcement. I'm very happy to announce. First big announcement is more for you guys than for me. It'll help me out a bit too, but I have uh, secured a little partnership with White Mountain Knives. Really great website to buy stuff. I buy a lot of knives on there because they're in New Hampshire and I'm in New York, so it's basically like two-day shipping. It's like buying on Amazon. And very cool guys to deal with, a guy to deal with. It's a pretty small place. Uh, they have everything. They've got uh, Benchmade, Spyderco's, Kaiser, uh, a lot of the really cool like uh, Chinese brands, the more reputable Chinese stuff. And also they uh, do some really high-end stuff. Emerson, uh, they even do Shiragurovs and stuff, uh, Hinderers, 
all kinds of cool stuff. Secured a little a partnership with them. Now, if you use the code SDWMK, which stands Slicey Dicey White Mountain Knives, SDWMK, you get 10% off anything in the store, anytime. And if you do it enough, it's going to let them keep selling me knives at wholesale. Uh, that's a new thing. That's part of the, the, the partnership. I'm not making any money on this. I'm just allowed to buy knives at wholesale from them. I'm not getting a kickback from what you buy or anything. I can just get knives at wholesale. So that's a great deal to me because I can get them quickly. And it's going to help me kind of expand my horizons here on the site. Uh, just... I do get some stuff wholesale now, but I have to go through a third party. It takes a long time, and I can't get everything that way. I do get loaners, stuff like that, but pretty much I'm buying 70% of what I'm uh, what I'm doing. So it'll allow me to expand my horizons. If I'm getting something wholesale and I don't have to worry about losing money on it, I may review a knife that I normally wouldn't review. So it's going to let me expand out a bit, get some stuff that's a bit out of my wheelhouse, let you guys see some more stuff. Let you guys get a good deal on stuff. It's win-win for everybody. And yeah, it's like LTK's deal. It's, I got the same deal he does. So very, very cool. Uh, but please support that. If you want to go buy anything at White Mountain Knives, use that SDWMK code. It just lets everybody know that you watched you watched my channel and that it's worth him, you know, continuing to sell me stuff at wholesale. So that's all I'm really getting out of it. Um, yeah, I will make some money in the long run, I'm sure, because if I get a knife at wholesale, I can sell it for a slight profit and make, you know, uh, probably 10, 20 bucks, something, not a whole lot. But the margins on knives aren't what you think they are. <laughs> it's not a whole lot of money. But it'll maybe make a couple bucks here and there. So that is the first big announcement, probably the biggest announcement for you guys. That's probably the one that you're most excited about. Um, the description of everything is down in the comments down below. I already put it in the description. So if you missed that whole, that whole uh, spiel about the White Mountain Knives thing, it's all explained down below, whitemountainknives.com. And uh, if you guys want to, as we go on here, you know, as I said, it'll let me expand my wheelhouse a little bit. You know, look on there, see if you see something they have in stock that maybe I'd want to try and, and let me know. So, all right. Yeah, they are fast. That's, that's the thing I like white knives. They're very, very fast. I'm kind of looking at your, uh, your comments and stuff here, too, as I go. Second big announcement. Made a lot of changes to the Patreon page in the last couple of days. Um... This is kind of the most in, important announcement to me because this is stuff that I might actually make a couple bucks on and you guys get to go do some cool stuff and whatnot. Um, if you want to donate to the Patreon page now, I do have levels and I have all the things. We'll get to the beer in a minute. I want to get through these announcements while a lot of you guys are on here. Um, we're, so first of all, I have a $5 level where you get a sticker. Um, 10 on there. The sticker is this one. Uh, I just got a bunch of these in. And we're going to do giveaways only for the channel. Not 30 bucks in cash, $30 in value worth of knife stuff. Only for the Patreon people. $25, you get the sticker, the giveaways, the exclusive content, and a t-shirt, which I'm getting printed up. I'm going to wait till I get a few more orders, just so I get an idea what kind of sizes to get. They're not terribly expensive. I work with a local company. They print them really, really quick. I'll have them in like a week after I order them. So it's not a, a big thing. Like I have to do it like, you know, this second. I'm going to wait like a week or so. And just to get an idea of what sizes people want and everything. Uh, it's just a white t-shirt with our logo on it uh, in a couple different locations here and probably on the sleeve or something. And we'll get, to, I'll have those in a couple weeks, but that's those. We, uh, I do have some goals on there, 200 bucks before I start doing the exclusive content, but it, it may, it may be, I may just do it. Who knows? Uh, I have some stuff I want to put up on there. Give me an idea of what you guys want to see for exclusive content. Stuff that I don't think the general YouTube populace would want to see is kind of what I'm looking for. Um, more opinion type stuff, uh, more getting down in the weeds of really nerdy stuff. Uh, maybe some disassembly videos. I don't want to put those on YouTube. A lot of you guys have asked for those. I don't because I get very sweary when I'm disassembling stuff. And uh, that's just the way I am. I don't trust myself to not drop a bunch of F-bombs while disassembling a knife. I'll do it on Patreon, though, because they're not going to nail me for stuff. So there's that. Um, I have a $1,000 thing, and I'll go to Blade Show. I'm probably going to go anyway, but, you know, you got to put the goals in there, so I, I put it in there. But please check out the Patreon. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, this channel is, uh, it's not breaking me. 
but uh, it's not making money as much anymore as it used to. Um, I was very, very shrewd in the beginning and I broke even. Now I'm losing a little bit. It's not about, not a lot, not a big deal. Nothing to make me stop doing it because I know in the end it's going to be something that's going to be worthwhile and I truly enjoy doing it. But it would be nice to to get a little get a little bit more uh, coming in. Enough so it's at least uh, a little more than breaking even. That would be nice. That would be a good fun thing. I have a tendency to take hobbies and ruin them and make them jobs. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. So uh, we'll do some questions here before I go too much further. Oh, I got to do the beer first. I keep forgetting that. I wanted to get all my announcements out of the way. Uh, today's beer is the Genesee Oktoberfest. It's already that time. It's already that time, Oktoberfest time. I've never had this before. I've had a lot of Oktoberfest, not the Jenny. Genesee Brewery, if you don't know, is right here in Rochester, New York. I like to do local beers if I can on here. They're the biggest local brewery. Yeah, it's not bad. Not my favorite. Not my favorite Oktoberfest I've ever had. I guess it's Oktoberfesty. A little bitter on the end there, but it's okay. Um, RMFN, did I ever pick up a fixed blade? Uh, I've had, I have a few. I've got, um, like a couple of sogs and stuff. Fixed blades aren't really my thing. I've looked at a few for camping and stuff, but not really my thing. Um, sharpening videos. Uh, I'm not that great at it, so uh, I don't really feel qualified to do that yet. I'm getting better, but once I get it. You want to see me juggling knives? I can't juggle, like anything. I would be for afraid I'd hurt myself juggling balls of cotton. I don't think I would do very well with that. And thank you for coming out Shortcut Reviews. It's cool. We've, uh, we've, we've been doing a lot of stuff together lately, haven't we? Sending stuff back and forth and all kinds of things. It's been good. Working up a good relationship there. Check out his channel. It's really, really good. And he's a very nice bloke. We've been uh, stuff back and forth. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, this is kind of week in review knives I have laid out here. We had the, the, uh, Fox Suru. I really, really like it. Uh, another person um, on YouTube that I, I'm not going to say by name hated it because of the pocket clip. I don't understand that. Feels perfectly fine for me. Um, works great in my hand. I really, really like this thing. It's very, very cool. This is the aluminum version. Excited for the carbon one. And then this thing, cool. The two, this little chunky monkey. I like this, uh, the real steel, uh, what, 3001 precision poltergeist thing this is awesome gonna be doing a three-way comparison with this have not filmed it yet or anything but uh it kind of begs to be done this and the ontario rat d2 and the mini cut jack they beg to be compared all together gonna be doing that sometime soon i'll, I'll probably shoot it sometime this week don't know when i'll put it out um uh rake knives what do i think Love rake knives. Love them, love them, love them. Um, I, I have lots of them. Well, two of them now, but I've had, I've, I have had lots of them. Very cool knives. Um, I think I have a rake review in the can somewhere. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, Honey Badger versus the Parrot. You know, they're really not that similar, I have to say. I, I have them both. I'm going to do a Honey Badger versus the, uh, I have them right here, the K-Bar Dozer. I'm going to do that. But the Honey Badger really isn't that similar to these two, other than it's close to the same price. But really, it's 30% more. It's $27 versus $20. And they're really not that similar in any other way, other than being somewhat close in price. I mean, that's a ball-bearing flipper. These aren't. It's uh, It's just, I think these are more similar than the uh, than the um, Honey Badger was. I thought about throwing that in there, too, but I didn't. What did I carry today? Today, I had, um, well, let me get it out my pocket i had uh the manix 2 lightweight and a uh little roadie that's what i had in today i was wearing a uh, pretty lightweight camping pants wanted something light um yes the big announcements the white mountain nice one also uh patreon stuff which i hope everybody scrolls down enough to pay attention to that so uh uh the patreon to me to get some more stuff that would be very very what else got coming up? Um, I think on uh, Tuesday, I already uploaded it. Um, I've got the CRKT Caligo versus the Kershaw Concierge. That's a fun little comparison. 
Yeah, it's a good video worth watching. I think I did a good job on it. I was proud of it. And it comes out on Tuesday. Um, yes, the uh, lightweight, the Manic 2 lightweight is fantastic. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome knife. Um, did I, do I still have my two knife bruiser? No, I don't. I, I did like it, but I, I don't have it. Um, it was it was cool, but uh, got a lot of knives in kind of that sort of range, so um, I didn't. Um, Ace Biblio versus the Three Rivers. You have? I don't have an Ace Biblio, or I would. Uh, if I had an Ace Biblio, I would probably definitely do that, but ain't got one. Um, and at this point, can't really afford to go out and buy stuff just for uh, comparison tests. Um, I like the Ace Biblio. It looks very interesting, but um, I, I do really, really like the Neutron, though. The Neutron is so, so nice. Um, I have the uh, Atlas, I think, is supposed to be shipping this week, the little one. So, um, uh you're boring yeah i'm starting to really like pair three i didn't like it before but uh no i don't have a fo uh, fox fox core i have not tried it out yet so uh, um and yeah if you prefer american made you say like three years because american made yeah that's fine i i don't really care either way but uh i understand why people do care sometimes so that's good and i do like supporting small manufacturers that's nice and trm is small so um Yes, you did miss the big reveal, but it's uh, it's all explained down below. Um, uh, we have a new partnership with Three Rivers Manufacturing, or three, it's got Three Rivers Manufacturing on my head. Three word names, and they confuse. White Mountain Knives, uh, discount code 10% off uh, SDWMK, 10% off anything in the store all the time. Helps me get some stuff at wholesale, which is really, really nice. So um, that would be awesome if you could do that to help me out, buy stuff through there and use that code. And uh, some Patreon stuff also, which would help out even more if you could uh, do the Patreon stuff. So, um, I'll explain in the in the listings down below. Uh, the trivia question again is to win the little three pack here from Weha. Who designed the Fox Suru, and what award did it win this year? So, if you're already Patreon, then you're good. It's five dollars for the the small low, the minimum level though. So we will. See. Um, I don't know which one you got. I knew you were on there, but, um, um, yeah, you were the first one who, uh, who signed up. Uh, what are you not saying a word about, Jack Farm Boy? I don't know. Are you trying to be secretive or do you not hear me? Um, oh, you're not going to post the thing again. I get it. Yeah, yeah, Uh, I did, I do watch Dr. Frunky's videos. I can't afford any of the stuff that he gets, though. I'm so, so sad, um, uh, about that. Uh, yeah, he's, he has a budget way beyond mine. He gets some amazing, amazing things, though. Um, when is the carbon fiber sewer supposed to drop? I don't know. It was uh, supposed to be fourth quarter is all I've ever heard. So who knows? Sometime, when does that fourth quarter start? November? Something like that? October? I don't know. Um, another knife I got in this week. This is, I, I know I've already had it in a review, but this is my Spyderco Sage 5. This is mine. Uh, the other one was a loaner from Shortcut Reviews. Thank you, the one that was in the videos. And I really, really liked it enough that I uh, got one. One of you nice readers uh, Instagrammed me, or viewers Instagram me, and made me an offer and uh, or you know to sell me theirs at a very, very good price. And I said, thank you very much. I will take that. And uh, now I have one. Really, really like the Sage 5. Very, very, very much. It makes me happy in lots and lots of places. Um... Have I seen the new Civivi stuff? Uh, yeah, I've seen the videos of it. I don't have any of it yet. Um, I, I know I'll be getting it, but I, I don't know when. Uh, whenever that pass around starts. I'm probably going to buy one of them outright just to get it quick. And then I will do the rest of them when they come through the pass around. Um, kind of leaning towards the uh, the practice, I think, might be the one I get. It's a little big, but uh, I really like the look of it. Um wish the Sage was in something other than S30V. Yeah, that would be nice. I do kind of wish it was. It's a tight chunk. I'm surprised it's not XHP. That would, that would have been great. But um, other than that, I really, really do love it. It's a so comfy. It's one of the most comfortable Spydercos I've ever held, other than maybe the Manix. I would, yeah, I guess I'd put it between the Manix and a Paramilitary too, as far as how comfortable it is in my hand. I just really, really like this thing. I cheap... I keep reaching for other stuff, and I keep grabbing it all week. I got it, like, Monday, and I just keep keep reaching for it all the time. It's awesome. 
Try Jenny Black, 8% alcohol. I have had Jenny Black. I think it tastes like kerosene, but that's just me. Um, any thoughts on the Mass Drop Domino? Oh, my only thoughts on the Mass Drop uh, Spyderco Domino, if you guys don't know, that's a discontinued knife that came back up on Mass Drop. Is, uh, I don't know where they got them, but uh, I'm imagining some dealer went out of business and had them laying around or something. I, I don't think they made more of them. I think that they just found a bunch around. Yeah. Um, have I heard of Ligma? Yeah, just from uh, videos. That's it, though. Um, is the Domino back on Blade HQ again now, too? I know it's discontinued. Maybe they just had a bunch laying around or something. I know they're definitely not making them anymore, but um, whatever. Uh, yeah, if the Sage 5 came in XHP, I'd ne never carry any of that. That's a possibility. That's a good subject we can chat about. Like, if, if, if there was slight changes to a certain knife, like, like what, what knife could they make that I would just stop doing this channel and just have that one knife and be happy forever? I don't think there is one. But uh, an XHP or M390 uh, or 20CB or something like that, uh, Sage 5 would be close. Um, maybe, yeah, a little thinner behind the edge. That'd be nice, but... Uh, full flat grind it is what it is i guess but uh um huh that's weird so the domino's back on blade hq also i'm wondering uh, i don't like the blue or the red i had a black one and i sold it i uh, wish i hadn't but um uh i had to it was a money thing I had to get rid of it um did i ever own a tenacious um my yes i had uh my one of my, my first spider co was a black coated partially serrated one because I was stupid and uh, I gave that to a friend and now my son has a carbon fiber one and uh that's a nice knife it's nice enough uh it's HCR so it's not my thing but it's nice enough um there's other spider coats I like more for you know not much more than that so but even though I didn't acknowledge you I'm sorry hello Jack hello hello Jack you have an interesting profile picture there. Are you satisfied now? Is everybody good? Are we good? Okay. You got one of you got one of each one of the you got one of each of the dominoes. You spent that much money to satisfy your OCD. You got issues. Yeah, I have nothing with serrations anymore, man. <laughs> I'm done with it. Um. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Um. I've heard really good things about the 9CR on the Civivi. I've heard very, very good things. Um, I, it's and I, what I like about their choice for that, and I know I get accused of being a wee knives homer because I, I like their stuff a lot. Um, speaking of, I've just fallen in love with this thing again. The, the practic lately, I've just been really in love with it. But um, what I've heard, what I like about it, their choice for the 9CR is that everything else in that price range is a D2. At least it's something different. It's supposed to have really good edge retention. It's supposed to be easy to uh, sharpen, all that stuff. So, yeah. I'm excited about it. I'm really eager to see it. And yes, I do have to agree with Mr. Gary Bear. If you have to modify it as soon as you get it, then uh, it's probably not worth buying. I am going to modify this, I think, though. I got this in the brown because it's the one I could get to get it, and I uh, the tan. And I, I like it. I thought I could handle it. I really wish it was black, and I've never dyed scales before, so I think I'm going to dye these black. Black seems like a pretty safe, easy color to do the RIT dye for the first time, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, the 9CR looks very corrosion resistant also, so I think you get something with not quite the edge retention to D2, but more corrosion resistant, easier to sharpen, and better than 8CR, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, see you later, Jack. Um, it's, I'm very eager to, I'm very eager to try the Civivis. Civivi, Civivi, that's going to be a constant argument about what's what. So, um, yeah, no Ben Blue, no. I don't think I could go from tan to blue anyway, so I don't think that would work out very well. Uh, yeah, it's going to be better than 8CR for sure. What is your current most expensive knife? That would be, let me see if I got it out where I can get it. Oh. This is funny you brought this up, too, because I was thinking about bringing it up, too. 
This is a knife that I foolishly almost sold. And I have to thank White Mountain Knives for saving me. Uh, that's part of how this partnership came about. Um, my most expensive knife is my Riot New Torrent. I almost sold it this week on Instagram. Reason being is uh, I haven't put the video up yet. Eugene Kwan loaned me his uh, Riot Starboy. I really wanted one. Couldn't really afford to have both. So I was going to sell this, but now um, I can get one through a Starboy through White Mountain and save some money. So it got saved. I'm going to keep it. I love this thing. It's beautiful. I admit I don't carry it a whole lot, uh, especially now in the summertime. I will more in the winter, but it's, it's big and heavy. So it's not something I'm going to carry around. So uh, have I handled an Olamic Swish? No, I have not. I really want one. I did um, handle a Busker, and I was very excited about that. That is awesome. You dyed one of the exclusive Midnight Blue. Yeah, because the, the exclusive ones come in the natural uh, G10, so you can dye them whatever color you want, which is which is great. Um, what are some other questions if I messed up here? Da -da. What's your take on Damascus Steel? Do you have any? I only have one. Um, I've got a Mkusta that's Damascus. I think I've got it over here. so funny after these live shows I've just got knives out everywhere yeah I've just got this which has not only Damascus blade but Damascus handles also um, it is not a comfortable knife in the hand very much at all but it works it works great I don't know it's fine um, this is the only one I've got I I don't think I would often pay the extra money for a Damascus that's why I don't have more of them but um it's a pretty little thing for sure so it screw fell out somewhere along the way waiting for a new one of that and it came with this little little Japanese bag kind of neat that was a gift from uh, one of my uh, one of my friends and viewers Mike thank you very much this is a super cool little knife I do actually carry it sometimes that little pouch makes it very comfortable to carry there's no pocket clip or anything um, yeah that's what I've heard too so uh, Okan is saying uh, that G10 isn't hard to die as long as you're going to really dark. And that's why I said, if I do this, I'm just going to go black. I'm not even going to try anything else. I'm just going to go black because that's what I wish I'd have gotten anyway in the first place. So I've been wanting to try a Starboy, but you want the baby machine instead. See, I was going to go with the baby machine and then I um, handled the baby machine and I really liked it, but I really liked the Starboy. It just, it just fits, you know, my hands a little better, I think. But then also now, Mr. Gear Bear, who's on here, right now this is another review i have coming up loaned me this little beauty mass drop prism which is very similar to the uh to the baby machine and i really like it so i don't know this has got me second guessing too i don't know if i'm gonna get a baby machine or a star boy it's gonna be a while anyway i got a lot of bills coming up so it'll probably be next month or something before i get one but i want one of those uh, my favorite Riot right now is the only one that I own, uh, my uh, New Torrent. I, I think the New Torrent is just a great, great design. Um, I got the Schmancy Pants one. I'd have probably been just as happy with the plain one. I don't regret getting the Schmancy Pants. Um, maybe I'd carry the plain one more often, but I don't think so. Um, like I said, it's, it's, I love the design of it. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. And listen to this noise. That thwack is just so satisfying. It's very thwacky. Isn't that what Birdshot says? It's thwacky. You can still use the thumb studs. It eat, thwacks even louder with the thumb studs. It's just, ah, I really like it. It's just so, so comfortable. I like that you can choke up a little bit. And it is a great knife to carry when it's cold out or when I'm wearing jeans or something like that. So you pre-ordered a Jack? Yeah, the Jack, uh, I thought about it. And then I was all excited about it. I actually had money saved up for it, prepared to order it. And then um, it, I saw the size of it, and like this is almost too big for me. It's why I almost sold it before I decided to keep it forever. And uh, the jack is even bigger, and I just, I just don't think I'd ever carry it. So what makes a three hundred dollar knife worth buying over a good thirty dollar knife? Well, there's, it's they're nicer. Are they more useful to the daily to, to a daily user person? Um, probably not. 
but we're going to have a $30 knife around here. I'm going to grab this one. This is a $30 knife, about, I think. It's a Tangram, I don't remember what they call this one, Progression. Um, yeah, it, is, is this less useful than this? No, probably not. Maybe even the opposite, but I don't know. They're just nicer. They're prettier. They make you feel nice, you know, and it, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with buying something that's just nice to know what's in your pocket. I know uh, a couple of my knife friends and I have talked about it. It just makes you feel nice just to know what's in your pocket, you know, and it's just, it's something that just, even if nobody sees it, you know, it's there and it just uh, makes you feel good. What do you say is your most unique rare knife that I have right now? Oh, what I have right now definitely are uh, not expensive, but these rare little Portuguese knives I picked up at a little flea market when I was over there. This one, best I can tell, this is a Sar Martin's sardine knife, they call it. Um, it's probably from, as, as much as I can tell, the 70s by the logo and stuff. Um, There's a little promotional product somebody made. This is uh, Serra de Estrella. It's a, a mountain range in uh, Portugal. So this is probably my uh, rarest and most unique. Or this is the same kind of thing, same company, Martins. This is like from the 80s, but again, it's like some restaurant promotional thing. Or, um, uh, As far as new rare knives, it's also a Martins wooden one. I got all these in Portugal so that it does make them kind of rare, but this is pretty. I haven't brought this one out in a long time. This is really cool. It's got kind of an open L style lock on it. It's like a hunting knife, wooden handle, works like an open L. You see it's got a little bore and stuff on it. Isn't that beautiful though? Came in this little case. Take a wild guess how much this thing cost if you haven't watched the video and I, you didn't see me say how much it costs. You'll be amazed. It was not expensive, put it that way. Just a beautiful light little knife. I need to carry this again someday. I haven't carried it in forever. This is just so cool. It's so pretty. Um, if you get a chance, pick up a Micro Typhoon. I would love to, but I'm probably never gonna get a chance for that. And yes, ding ding, it was 20 bucks. It's a, just such a cool little knife for 20 bucks with the leather pouch and all that stuff. And they're made in Portugal. They're not like Chinese or anything. Really, really cool. Not that Portugal is known to be the pinnacle of uh, manufacturing prowess or anything, but it's cool to know it was made there and designed there and everything else there. Um, what do you say, Olivia? Steel is often a peace of mind thing, yeah. Um, oh, my oh my gray 2 knife Envy. Yeah, they only made 10 of those. You're right. That probably is one of my rarest knives. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I want to buy one now. I'm Portuguese. Need a Portuguese knife now. Where do you live in Portugal? Or oh, you don't. You're just Portuguese. You don't live there. And say if you if you live there, and you're near Lisbon, I can tell you exactly where to go. And it was a really cool knife shop, and uh, they had some awesome stuff. It looks like just a knife, like a uh, kitchen cutlery shop from the outside, and then you walk in, and it's they have everything. It's really, really cool. I will definitely go back there next time. Whenever I go to Germany, we always have long layovers in Portugal. And I will go back there again to that same knife shop. It was, yeah, close to, yeah, 20 euros. Or, or, yeah, I think it was 17 euros, so about 20 bucks. Yeah, you live in Massachusetts. Well, if you ever go home to visit, get a... There's a knife shop down here. It's the world's oldest bookstore. I can't remember what the name of the bookstore is. Knife shop, like, right around the corner down the street. Great, great place. Um, where is, since somebody mentioned it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess this is probably my rarest, now that I think of it. As far as fewest ever made, these are rare because they're old and they were disposable promotion items and I assume most of them are in a lake somewhere or at the bottom of somebody's drawer and long forgotten but yeah this is probably my rarest just because they only made 10 of these in this color I love this the two knife envy just in this color I love everything about the two knife envy except well it's color and I, I wish it wasn't a tanto but I'm okay with the t this particular tanto I'm relatively okay with but um oh so comfortable great action 
only 10. I did see a dice somewhere the other day, uh, you're asking, uh, BP69. I did see a domino dice uh, pop back up in stock somewhere. I can't remember where it was. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, somebody else just said that Blade HQ has the domino back in stock. I'm going to have to call my uh, contacts and see what's up with that. So I don't know what happened to it. Um, uh, what kind of walk? You're, I'm always wearing my Seiko 5. That's almost always what I wear. I have... Um, I used to split time between... I have a, a very nice-looking Pulsar. It wasn't terribly expensive. It's a higher end for a Pulsar, but it was uh, like a... Um, I don't know, it's like 150 bucks. And then I have a nice Seiko Chronograph, an old one from uh, when I was a teenager. And I used to wear that. Uh, a bit and then I had a, a G-Shock I wore most of the time and then my wife got me the Seiko 5 for Christmas and that's all I wear now. I, I love my Seiko 5. I like to call it my uh, my old timey Fitbit because it doesn't count my steps but uh, if I'm lazy and don't do anything all day it quits working while I'm sleeping at night and I wake up in the morning and it's two hours behind so I know that it uh it um <laughs> I know that I didn't do enough that day so it's kind of funny. Yeah, knife works. That's where I saw it. It just popped back up again, too. The dice just got back in stock, so. But yeah, old-timey Fitbit. If you don't keep moving, watch what's working. I love the automatic, though. I have a weird electromagnetic thing. I kill batteries on watches, so it's nice to nice to have that. So And yes, don't get into watches. And, uh, da -da -da. hope they introduce, they reintroduce it, what? Yeah, weird. I don't know what's up with that. If anybody else knows who's watching this, some of you guys watch new stuff more than me, but it's kind of weird that those, some of those discontinued uh, Tai Chung Spider Co's are just popping back up again. Don't know what is what is happening there. Uh, how many people we still got on? Uh, da, da, da. 30. Nice. So every time, I, every time I start thinking stuff dies down, a bunch more of you log in. So again, the trivia question was, and please put it in the comments down below, do not put it in uh, in the live chat. Wait till the video is over, then comment down below to win this this uh, Wii Hot Torque set of 6, 8, and 10, the most important ones. Who designed the Fox Suru, and what award did it win? It's a two-part question, but it's a super easy one. So, Yeah, they need to focus on getting the Mantra 3 built. Yeah, no shit, man. That's one that I don't have on the pre-order for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just going to take my chances, but... Uh, I've got the Amalgam and the Smock. So um, I'm hoping that they come out soon. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not holding my back, that's for sure. I'd have been dead months ago if I listened to the estimates on it. Uh, any more questions? We're going to keep this one fairly short. Uh, two reasons. Mostly I want people to watch it so they can see about the Patreon and the White Mountain Knives thing. And the longer they are, the fewer people watch them. And also, uh, I'm burning up my data here because I had no choice but to go data for this instead of going over my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi is being awful today. So, Oh, thank you, Okan, for saying that. Okan just is saying uh, he likes his Mantra 3 better than his Sage... Or he likes his Sage 5 better than his Mantra 3. So thank you. That makes me feel better because I didn't pre-order one and I know I'm not going to get one for a long time. So that, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. That'll help me sleep tonight. Who needs watches? It's why they make clocks and phones. Yeah, but I'm, I have a lifelong reflex of looking at my wrist to see what time it is. And I don't... It's funny. I My wife bought me the Seiko 5 for Christmas. I bought her an iWatch. So we have, like, the exact opposite watches. Mine's an old-school manual, and she has a computerized one. She is younger than me, but not, like... Uh, not that much younger than me. She's only, only 10 years younger than me. I didn't go too crazy. Just enough to be controversial. Not too much, so. Tape your phone to your wrist. Sounds like something my father-in-law would do. You're waiting to see all three spider coats to choose one. So you're waiting till uh, sometime in mid-2019 mid when they're all gathered together in one place. <laughs> it's going to be a thing. What's a Bradley Kimura worth? I have no idea. I'm not sure what that is. That one does not ring a bell. 
contrary to popular belief, I don't know every single knife made. I wish I, I wish I did. I think I'm closer than most, but I don't know all of them. Uh, the Drunken's a, a big sucker. That one doesn't really appeal to me that much, I have to say. That was... And was that the really huge one? No, it's not the huge one. It was just the odd one. I don't know. The Drunken didn't really appear to me at all. Appeal to me at all. Um... Plain edge belly blade or tanto. I, I much prefer just a plain edge, a regular belly blade of some kind than a tanto. Oh, battle of songs. I don't know anything about battle of songs. I don't. I like my fingers. Haven't haven't grabbed any of those. Isn't the Schlieff Swayback really expensive? Oh, that's the big one. That's the big ass one, right? I think that was the big one. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. They introduced so many. Well, they announced so many. I don't think you can call it introduced until they actually hit the market. Would God knows when. It's getting uh, pretty crazy with that. Just wait a while, guys. Just announce it later. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm mostly moving my hands to make sure I'm still on. This is my uh, this is my sound check basically to make sure I'm still on. I'm watching the video. I'm a few seconds behind you guys there though, but um. Still waiting for the M390 entry. Yeah, that's going to be a while, too. Uh, or that has been a while, too. Um, and a prototype. <laughs> Swayback was a biscuit. I have heard that before. It's like a milled carbon fiber Spidey Chef. Mm. And what, I'm, I'm sure I'll try one out at some point. But I, although I don't have a Spidey Chef. Thought about it. What do you think about the blade grind for the 940? I mean, if it's even when you get it, I think it's fine for what it is. If you mean the stock blade grind on it. Mine is not, mine is 80% even, just up towards the tip. It, it wasn't even, but the rest of it's fine. Not enough I've sent it away to have it fixed. And it's S90V, so I ain't fixing it. I can sharpen stuff, but S90V is beyond my patience level. I will let... I have friends that are very good at sharpening, and I will gladly pay them to to do it for me no stitches for you yet well you're more uh more coordinated than me randy f says 943 yeah i've been wanting to try 943 i've never even like seen one in person but i love the 940 so much i have the s90v carbon fiber one and i thought about and i used to have the g10 rei edition one 940 and i thought about getting uh another G10 940, but then I thought, no, if I do that, I'll get a 943. Some Someday, I'll add a 943 to the collection. You just need diamond stones. Yeah, no, that's not all you need. You need diamond stones and patience, which I have none of. So that's why I haven't decided to do it myself. Stitches twice. You did them yourself. I've stitched myself up before, too. I had a mountain biking once. I uh, uh, messed my knee up. Uh, hit the deck and cut my knee really bad and my buddy was a medic an uh, army medic and had the whole stitch kit and he started to do it and I said now nah, I'll just do that myself just tell me how to do it if I'm gonna stab somebody's gonna stab me I'm gonna do it myself I got a spidey chef Thursday congratulations uh what sharpener do I use I uh, mostly I use uh spiderco sharp maker because I'm mostly just touching stuff up I I have a Lansky system I hardly ever even use. Mostly now, if it's some, I know so many friends that are very good at sharpening and get me stuff back really quick. If it's more than I can do on the Spidey, on the, the sharp maker, I'd send it off to one of them. Are they going to continue making this, this spider shop? Seems like they're sold out everywhere. Well, uh, I, I think they are. I haven't heard it was discontinued. It was still, it was in the, the catalog for this year, so. I think so. I figure once they get dull, it's just an excuse to buy another one. There you go. Euro 609 has a chip in it. Oh, no. Oh, hey, did you see the 0609? They're shipping the, the tools now. My, I pre-ordered mine at Knife Center, and they don't have them yet, but I'm hoping they get them in tomorrow or the next day. I know a couple. I know GP Knives got them in. Um, they're in stock there, so I'm actually going to... You reminded me I need to call Knife Center tomorrow and see when they're going to get those, because if it's going to be a while, I'm just going to buy one somewhere else, because I want it. I, my 0609 is, is fine, but I know if I tore it apart and put my special sauce to it, it would be perfecto. Womp womp. Yeah, that's a... 20, 20 CV isn't horrible to sharpen. It's not that bad. It's like just like M390. It's not easy, but it's not the worst stuff in the world. It's not like S90V is. S90V is a nightmare. 
It just takes so long. Oh, they did a CQI in the Spidey Chef and moved it to a ceramic detail. I did not know that. Thank you for that information. So the next ones that come in will be even better. That's good to know. I will wait. Randy, I'm not sure. I, I don't necessarily agree you should come with the tool. I think the price that it costs plus the price of the tool is not is not bad. But the thing that pissed me off to no end is that it took so long to come out with the tool. When we bought those knives, they all told us it was going to be two or three weeks and the tool will be available, and it's been four or five months. That's what makes me mad. I don't mind paying for the tool. It's not expensive. I'm not that mad about it. Um, and apparently there are more knives coming that it will also fit. So I could see, you know, you keep buying, you know, you buy four or five knives with four or five of the tools. That's annoying also. I don't mind pay, 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 yeah, paying for the tool, but just give it to me in a reasonable amount of time. That's what I'm mad about. Enough that I, I, I don't carry the knife much because I'm just mad at it. <laughs> Even though it's a great, great knife. The 0609 is fantastic, but I'm mad at it. Um, no, I, I found 110V to be not nearly as, not nearly as difficult as S90V. Uh, it's not easy, but it's, it's not, neither of them are what, I guess hard is the wrong word. It's, well, they're hard. That's what, it, they, they just take forever. They're both very time consuming, but, uh, 110V I found to be much quicker to sharpen than S90V. Like something that's a one hour job on 110V is going to be a two hour job on 90V. Um, uh, you keep looking at the 940 M390. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good buy. That knife works on 390, uh, 940. I kind of wish I'd have gotten one of those instead of my S90V, but alas, I have what I have. So, um, I think the blue spurt one, the black blade, I thought it looked hideous, but that's just me. Uh, that's a personal thing. Oh, I do have a uh, ZT Sprint Run arriving tomorrow, though, and I'm going to have the review up tomorrow night because, interesting story, um, I got a, uh, um, uh, God, a couple months ago, someone loaned me an ZT0393. I reviewed it, recorded it, and it uh, disappeared and from my hard drive. I have no idea what happened to it, and I never reviewed it. Tomorrow morning, my mail gets here stupid early. Tomorrow morning, I'm getting the Stonewash 0393, uh, which I like the look of much better. The only thing I didn't like about the original 0393 is I hated that blue and the black multicolored blade. I just didn't like it. It, it was not my thing. So I didn't, uh, I didn't want one of those. The Stonewash one looks exactly like what I want. But here's a, here'll be our final topic for the evening, and, um, and then I'll, I'll let you guys go. But what the hell is up with these the sprint runs? They did this on the 0609 that you mentioned, and there's a couple 0609 sprints. And the 0393 sprints, both of them, come in S35VN for cheaper money than the standard one that has 20 CV. Why does the standard production one have better steel than the sprints? Not that there's anything wrong with S35, and especially for the 0393, it's kind of a hard-use knife. It is kind of nice to have some steel that's a little easier to sharpen maybe but what the shit why did they do why did they do that why did they put lower end steel on the sprints than what's on the production i don't understand it yeah exactly they should be reversed the standard one should be s30 or or they just all be s20v they just all be s20v in the same price i don't give a it's just 20 dollars difference i don't care is it when you're paying over 200 bucks for a knife, who cares about another 20 bucks? It's just ridiculous. I don't understand it. I somebody gave me some kind of reasoning for it, and I, I and I didn't, I didn't buy it. But oh, hey, Baz is on here. I didn't see him. Where's Baz? Hello, Baz. Oh, there he is. I made a, I made a tool out of everyone. <laughs> At least it's cheap. It is cheap. And I, like I said, I for it at all. I, I'm not one of the guys wound up about that, but um, I didn't want the... Uh, I, I'm just mad that it took so long. That's all I'm angry about. Uh, average guy probably thinks 35 is better than 20. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't get the reasoning behind it. 
Like on the Hinderer one on the 0393, I kind of get it. If you're really going to be beating up on stuff and you might get a, a chip on it, so much easier to fix S35. So maybe, kind of, maybe that's... But but they did the same thing in the 0609, and it's... I just don't get it. It seems to be just a policy they have now. Maybe they want to make sprints available for the masses, but it's $20 cheaper. It's not a big difference. I love you, ZT, but what the hell? Yeah, Libby just solved it. Never mind. He figured it out. Maybe they just had a lot of S35 laying around. Yeah, that's probably more like it. That's probably it. Yep, that's probably it. I wish they'd have had a lot of something else laying around. I don't know. I wish they'd had a lot of Maximet laying around or something like that, or a lot of crew wear. <laughs> we can wish, I guess so. Baz on Broads has been a bust so far. What is Baz on Broads? It sounds like a uh, like a gentleman's club I would like to visit. I would I would like to know what that is. Um, it's probably. I had the same Benchmade Spyderco, yeah. Um, that and that's a, yeah, and then the twenty CV. If I want the twenty CV, I have to get that the black coating on it, which I don't want that, even if it's only half. Hey, Seven Ready, how you doing? I just watched one of your reviews today. Um, yeah, I bet they got a lot of twenty CV laying around since almost everything they have coming out is twenty CV. So I don't know. They must. I think you're right though. I think maybe they just wanted to get through the S thirty five. It's a weird, weird thing, though. I've never seen a company do a sprint run with with arguably inferior steel to 20CV. I'm sure there are people out there who prefer the S35 to 20CV, but um, I'm not necessarily one of them. Uh, I'm just checking the viewer count here. So, um... Da -da. No, I don't have the Micro Typhoon. I wish I did. I watched so many reviews today. I would love to tell you which one I watched, Seven Ready, but I got I had nothing to do this morning. Well, after I watched F1 and I watched a whole lot of videos. And I, I don't remember which one. I think it was the the Fox, but I remember which one. When are you going to try out a military? I'm waiting for the Rex 45 military. When that comes out, I'm going to do my best to get my hands on one of those. I've never owned a military. I've been waiting for a special one. So that's what I want. Your single man club. <laughs> I need to call Princess Pinky. Am I still rocking the shaman? No, I sold that one a while ago. That was one of those things where uh, um, I loved it. I still do like it, but uh, the, they jacked the price up so high that I wanted to buy something else and I could make some money. And I paid retail for it and I sold it for more than I paid for it because they jacked the price up. So that was something I could make some money on and I wanted to buy something else and so I sold it. Yeah, that's why I was saying, Baz. I don't understand why they did that. Oh, the 0462, they did it too? Yeah. They're doing it on all their all their sprints. All their sprints are freaking S35 while the standard's 20 CV. I don't I don't get it. Very, very, very weird. The knife works 204P. Let me guess if knife works. Is it orange? I'm betting it's orange. I don't like orange knives. I tried. I had the knife works uh um, Manix 2 Lightweight S90V and I sold it because I just could not deal with the orange. But anywho, I am getting the 0393 tomorrow morning. It's in the early morning delivery and I'm going to play with it all day and then I'm going to do my 0393 review that night just because... Oh, Cutlery Shop, you're right. I'm sorry. That was the orange. Um, uh, I'm going to do the review that night because, as I said, I already recorded a review for the 0393 and I lost it. So I'm going to use those notes for most of it and then just talk about the differences between the two. So you, there will be a ZT0393 stonewash slash regular version review tomorrow night. And then uh, the night after that, some comparisons and stuff. So My wife is not materialistic and superficial. You male chauvinist pig, Mr. Gear Bear. Here's my moment of feminism for the night. The Knifeworks Green Military. Let me see the Knifeworks. I'm gonna go to knifeworks.com. I have all the world's knowledge in front of my hand in front of my hands, and I'm asking you guys. What are you talking about? The knife works. Spotter coup. Cool. What are those? Something just popped up on the front page there. 
Oh, uh, see, so you type in Spider Co. Military and it gives all the paramilitaries and everything. I'm not seeing it. I'll look it up. It came up with paramilitary twos and all kinds of crap. I don't know what their exclusive ones. Oh, KW exclusives. There we go. This is probably very exciting for you guys. There's a PM2. Ooh, I like their Manix 2 exclusive. That's nice. I'm not seeing it. I'll look it up later. I don't want to bore you guys. I can't see what you guys are talking about when I'm looking at other stuff, so... Um, okay, I'm pretty, so yeah, the Copper Natrix and the Bare Knuckle. I did talk to um, somebody on there on um, Instagram the other day. They posted, and I immediately messaged them and said, when are those coming out? And all I got was fourth quarter, um, Bare Knuckle will be out before the Copper Natrix is. So I think we're getting close. I think the Bare Knuckle will probably be out in, like, October and who knows when the copper nature is coming. I know they're having some problems with that copper so uh, um, I already answered the sharpening thing. I mostly use the Spyderco Sharp Maker and I do have a, a Lansky but I don't um, hardly ever use it. If I get something I can't fix with the uh, with the Sharp Maker I send them off to somebody else. I have a lot of friends who are very very good on it. Yeah um I do like them. I, I like what I said. If you watch my video about I can have only one, I've said I like using the Manix better than the PM2. I always have. It's much more comfortable in my hand. I have ridiculously long fingers, and the way it wraps, my hands wrap around it, I like using a Manix more than the PM2. I like the blade better than the PM2, but I like carrying a PM2 more. So... The Manix, uh, especially watch that, I did not pick the Manix for my one night forever. I picked a PM2 because uh, the PM2 is so much easier to carry. But uh, the, the the Manix is, is a pain in the butt to carry. But as far as just using, much prefer, not much prefer, I prefer the Manix. And see you later, Okan. Or whoever, who was leaving? Somebody said they were leaving. I think it was Okan. Well, somebody, whoever said they were leaving, see you later. Yeah, I'm going to get a Kami one of these days. But every time I'm ready to save the money to KME, I want to buy another knife. And honestly, uh, I'm not, um, I'm so busy with stuff on the channel now, too. I think the amount of time it would take me to properly sharpen stuff is more than I want to spend. I, I, I have so many knives that nothing gets really, really super dull. I just make sure to keep everything touched up on the Sharp Maker, or I have, or I have some flat stones, too. I keep things stropped and touched up and rarely have to do anything that would re require a KME. And if I do, I send it off. Um, yeah. Oh, they wanted to sell you a clip. I've never had Kershaw ever, ever, ever. I actually just got, just got two, um, just got two uh, deep carry clips from Kershaw a couple weeks ago. They didn't give me any problem at all. They don't know who I am from a hole in the wall. Um, what's my current knife count in your collection? Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't want to know. Um, let's see, those are, I don't know, somewhere around 70 or 80 or something like that. I don't know. I have no clue. Um, 50, 60, 70, 80. I don't know. I have a handle of Southern Grind Spider Monkey. I have not, but I'm interested in one. It's, uh, that's pretty cool. Actually, uh, Libby, did you call them or did you do it? I do mine on, on the computer and I've always just gotten one. I don't ever call anybody. I never talk to anybody at Kershaw. I just do the little form. And see, again, I've had great experience with Kershaw's customer service every single time, and I just do the little computer form. How does my wife feel about my knife count? She's okay with it because she knows I'm working towards something, that I'm trying to turn this into a real thing. So I think um, if I just had these and they were just sitting around and they were doing my own personal stuff, she probably would be not too happy about it, but uh, she knows that I'm working towards turning this into something, and she's seen me do it before with my bike website, and she has faith in me that I can turn it into something. So uh, she's pretty she's pretty all right with it. She's not a knife person at all. Sometimes I pull a knife out of my pocket, and she's like, oh, my God, rolls her eyes. But as far as how many I have, she's all right with it. Um, yeah, I just got a couple of deep carry clips from Benchmade also. 
got a polished one for my 940 instead of the black one I had, and I got an extra bug out clip to put on my uh, Neutron. And then I didn't keep using it. it. It was great. It was deep carry, but it was so deep carry it was like beyond the handle. And it was just more than it needed. This is fine. I'm just going to stick with this one, I think, for now. I would say trying to contact... You're saying that they ignored you, that Kershaw ignored you on Instagram. I would say personally, as a guy who also runs like a business, like that, not nearly to that size, but I have a website and I have an email address and I have other ways to get a hold of me. And I would say trying to get a hold of me on Instagram is the worst possible way for you to try and get a hold of me. And I would probably be kind of annoyed. Like people try to track me down through my personal Facebook and stuff and it really pisses me off. Um... Just me personally. Maybe wrong, so. Oh, they, they told you to message them on Instagram? Alright then. But I don't know. I just always do the I just always do the thing on the site. I always get them. And I've got them for uh Maybe they just don't maybe they honestly just don't make one for that particular model. I don't know, maybe it's different hole pattern or something, but I've got one for my dividend. I got one for Oh gosh, almost every curse I've ever gotten. They sent me a deep carry clip for. And I decided I just got one a couple weeks ago. But they do make a deep carry clip for the... Yeah, that's it. They do, I got one for my M390. They do make one for that. So, uh, yeah. Don't answer the question in the thing. Oh, Anso. Never mind. It's not the question. Anso, Vox, Nice. I, I'm going to get an Anso, I think. There's a comparison test I want for it, so... Yeah, they do make it for the dividend, you're right. They may just not make it for that particular one, but... Um, I can kind of see if they don't make it for that one, then they don't set it, but whatever. Oh, you're trying to get it for your M390 dividend? I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I know you're upset about it, but they sent me one with no questions asked. I just filled out the form online, and they sent me one. And it, and it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, and then I got one for uh, um, a link a couple weeks ago not for one of mine i just one of my friends didn't know how to do it and i get it and got it to him handed it to him so uh do you have a bug out yes i do carried a whole lot i love the bug out it's one of my favorite knives especially when it's hot out like this and i'm wearing shorts and stuff great 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 knife maybe you're just on a watch list or something they don't want to send you one libya i don't know i don't know what to tell you um I wish I wish that uh I could get the I got the blue one. The green I want the that the blade on the I want that stone washy blade on the green one or the gray wash, whatever it is, on a black handle and I would be happy as a little girl. I like the blue fine, but I'd love it if it was just regular. So um Slicers that compare to the bug out. Um, there's lots of stuff that slices as good as the bug out. It's it's the bug out's not an exceptionally great slicer. It's pretty good, but it's not exceptionally great. Um I don't like green knives. I don't know, I just I always feel like they look I'm not not a tactical guy at all. They're just not um uh I I don't think that uh when you pull those out a lot of people look at the O D green or something like that and think tactical and I I would rather have something in just a normal color. I don't know if this is repeating. Or you said what's is better than a better than the bug out again. Um, lots of stuff. Uh, a PM two, uh, um, Manix two, the the Neutron, um, the Rectifier. I there's it, it's a great knife. It's it's not the best slicer in the world. It's a completely, it's a really good slicer, but there's stuff, a lot of stuff that does slice better. It's not, not hugely thin stock. It's not hugely thin behind the edge. Yeah, dividend. Yeah, there's lots of them. Great knife. Nothing wrong with it at all, but uh, slicer, it's not designed to be. It's designed to be an all-around kind of outdoorsy knife, and if you have a very thin, slicey blade, uh, that's not a great all-around outdoorsy knife. You're going to snap the tip off or something, so... Different horses for different courses, I guess. All right, I think we're going to wrap this thing up. We're on just a bit, right about an hour, if you delete the technical difficulties we had at the beginning. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Again, the trivia question is, for the last time, who designed the Fox Subaru and what award did it win? 
And please check out, first of all, our Patreon page. Uh, we made a lot of changes to that. We have two different levels now. You can get you can get a t-shirt or, or a sticker, depending on which level you get. We're going to have some exclusive content. Going to have $30 giveaways every month, $30 in value giveaways every month. Um, and uh, please put your answers in the comments down below. Don't put them in the thing. I don't know what is going on here. Um, and, uh, also white mountain knives, we have a new, a new, uh, a discount code with them. S D W M K 10% off all the time, no matter what, uh, no matter what you're buying all the time, but, uh, please use that code S D W M K the links down below and all that stuff on the information. Helps me get some deals on some stuff. I don't get a I don't get a kickback or anything, but it helps me get deals on stuff that I can buy and review for you guys. It'll help me buy stuff that I normally wouldn't buy. Things that you guys like that I know that I that I won't like. It, normally I'm paying for stuff, so I don't buy something that I'm certain I'm not gonna like. Where if I have if I know I'm not gonna lose money on it in the end, I can buy it, review it, sell it, and break even or make 10 or 20 bucks, then I will do that. So this isn't me, the, that discount code isn't all about me making money, that's about me making content. Now the Patreon page, that's about me making a little bit of money. So check out the Patreon page, check out White Mountain Knives, very, very, very happy about them doing that for us. I um, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, what little bit there is left that I have not consumed. Love you guys so much for coming out and supporting me, have a good one.